I have tried to play this for so effing long. I tried to play this so fucking long. Oh yeah, you're not supposed to swear in like the first two minutes of technically it's on a YouTube video, but obviously it would just get repurposed on YouTube anyways. So not like it matters. But yeah, there's that. Oh, I appreciate whoever just joined. But I've been trying to play this for the past two days. I had nothing for any of these days. And that was that. Nothing. I had nothing planned for Friday. Nothing. I wake up and all of a sudden all of my plans got changed. All of them. It sucked. And I, was re I got really into this. And I don't remember if they do it next time on The Walking Dead. Cause, oh no, with, uh, previously on The Walking Dead. I don't know if they do that. I don't remember. Oh, for a guy who remembers almost everything in his fucking life. I can't remember this. Oh, I'm taking my sweatshirt off. Previously on The Walking Dead. While searching for a showing. place to call home, AJ and I found an old boarding school run by kids deep in the forest. Oh yeah, right. We do this. Their leader was a guy named Marlin. And AJ pulled the trigger. Um, did I fuck up? I told the wrong AJ episode? that what he'd done was murder, that he'd have to atone for it. The other kids agreed. They voted to kick us out. I thought we'd never return. Then AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lilith. Lily. That's what I said. We were almost eaten by walkers Fuck when sake, suddenly my one of them spoke and to me. My table is a mess. His name was James, That's an ex whisperer yes. who didn't believe in killing walkers. He Why? helped me treat AJ, but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ and let us back inside. After I told them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay, at least until the fight. I decided to help Violet in the bell tower. We looked at the stars together, and I admitted I had feelings for her. She felt the same way. Then the raiders finally came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Until Ten ran out of cover, hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb yeah. went off, and attempting to save Ten, Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. With only a second to decide, I fired and saved Violet. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd Omar. gone. A Sim and Lewis. But we knew someone who did. My Domino's is cold. She didn't even finish her ginger ale. I 
You know, I believe me and Mitch became friends in the end. the start, I was so little, and, and Mitch looked after me. People said he was a dick sometimes, but he was always nice to me. Now he's gone. Dabbed in the eye by some asshole who never even knew his name. Look, I promise you, Willie, the people who did this... We're going to hit them back. They're gonna regret ever coming near us. If Mitch were here, he wouldn't cry. He'd find a way to get our friends back. And he'd bash Lily's brains out with a rock. Hey, AJ's waiting for you in the basement. We got Abel tied up tight. He's alive, but he's out cold. Thanks. We should bury Mitch. It's time. It is dumb. God damn it, bro. I, feel, I, would, oh, I would not handle that. I hope you can. Get away from him! <laughs> You're the reason he's dead! Willie! Well, it's true! We had a plan, and that idiot messed it up! Well, someone has to say it! It's what everyone's thinking! Ten! All right. I'll take uh, care of this. Talk to Abel, find out where Lily took Lewis, Omar, and Asim. And Clem? Don't be afraid to, you know, hurt him a little. Maybe you'll get more out of him than we did. Oh yeah. I don't even know how old they are. They're still kids. I mean, I don't think you're an adult till you're like 25, but. Oh wow, I actually get the look right. See, this is so cool. It gives me that objective, but can I do like side objectives on the way there, yeah? Should be strong enough to hold him. Wait, I just came this way. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yes, I did. Oh, Brody. Brody. Okay, for fuck's sake, AJ, I know that's you spitting the revolver. You, uh, she's my dog now, so is Rosie just my dog? Like, have I claimed Rosie as my own? Okay, hold up. AJ, I'll get to you in a sec. If you could stop spitting that fucking revolver, man. It's not, e it's not even a .38 special, man. Got your gun back, huh? Uh huh. <sighs> Ready? This afternoon nap. I was having a nice dream too. About a girl I used to know. 
from before. She also had me tied up, but I wasn't her prisoner if you get my meaning. <laughs> Man or squirt? <laughs> You've had your water. Now it's time to talk. It's the first time interrogating someone, isn't it? <laughs> you let me dictate the agenda. Makes me think you're weak. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's gonna turn around and come right back for me. <laughs> you better give me the five-star treatment. If I'm smiling when she gets here, you might be able to trade me for a little mercy. You aren't gonna do that. You don't have it in you. <laughs> Psycho! Just tell us where they took our friends so we can get them back. Oh, I can't believe it, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> Lily will never give them up. The only reason we came here was for more manpower. Losing Jonathan and me. For three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another. From Richmond to the coast. Back in the Delta, we're at war. With some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say. Point the guns the way we tell them to. That's called kidnapping. Give it whatever name you want. I call it survival. What kind of place is this Delta if they use forced labor to defend it? You think we like doing raids like this? Our home is under threat. It's a good home. Built to last. I'd do a lot to protect it. Maybe you can understand that. And I'd do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my time. Okay. Front pocket. The answer to all your questions. Can I give AJ a bullet first? Read it. Whatsoever parteth the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and cheweth the cud, among the beasts, that shall ye eat? What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. I was hoping it'd be some timely, moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. Well, come on. That thing ain't gonna light itself. Wanna know where your friends are? Smoke will clear my mind. Help me remember stuff. Like where Lily went. Come on, kid. You little bitch! I'm out of patience, Abel. Tell me where Lily went. Yeah. Now! <coughs> I let him drink, man. Oh, shit. <sighs> That's a lot of blood. Oh, fuck. This is not good. He's gonna die, isn't he? We have medicine. We can still patch him up. I don't think so. When you pushed me off that balcony, something must have burst inside of me. <laughs> no medicine can fix this. <laughs> Shit. I never wanted things to end like this. Everything. It all got out of hand. Now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? No! <laughs> My, my 
whole life. Everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will. For my body, the dirt on me, to take control. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise. You won't let me turn. I'm begging you. If you're honest with me, I'll put you out of your misery. You have my word. Okay, we have a boat. We're docked a few miles west of here at an old fishing pier. Your friends are on the boat. <laughs> you, you got what you wanted. Please, don't let me become one of those things. Please, I don't want to turn. <laughs> Not that. I want to let me keep my face. AJ, don't look away. I want you to see this. I want to. Can I stab him in the gut first? Dead. At least he can't hurt anyone anymore. Yeah. Come on, we have a boat to find. Wait, wait, no, no. AJ, don't do that, don't do that, no, 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 no. Oh god. Nah, bro. Nah. Cause I feel like it's gonna end up being me versus AJ at one point. And if I'm playing it, I would not- I can't kill him. Nah, he's a kid. Maybe my death, if it happens. Could show almost good what not to do. Cause I, I, I let him stay cause I don't, it was a mercy kill. He gave me, I mean I know he noticed that I had him sick. Uh, I, Rosie, that's the dog's name I believe, on uh, Abel. He kept that. I hope he realizes that I wasn't doing it to hurt him. I was doing it to show that I'm not as weak as he thought. Because after that, it gave me a couple options to hurt him, and I, well, I didn't slap him. But then he thought he could control the situation again by making me burn him. Show him that's not how we do it. I'm in control, not you. Then I killed him out of mercy because he was going to turn. And I hope that he, uh, he realized those two things. At least that's what I hope. But he could have also learned the complete opposite of those things because he's a fucking kid. That's me. Hope to God he didn't, though. But this being a telltale game, obviously. Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, if Ten doesn't fuck it up this time. It wasn't Ten's fault. Yes, it was. Mitch died because he... Say one more thing about Ten. I dare you. Guys, look! Wow, he wasn't lying. Can I go on there alone? You see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a... A wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay, let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. Oh, fuck. Ah, 
No, don't make me move yet. I want fucking. I want to eat this. Wait, 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 wait. I'm almost done. Ah, uh, fuck. Let's go. Anything useful? Looks like building material, furniture, probably stuff from the train station. They're loading those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river, easy. Sheet metal, wood, and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. Can I not look at the shack? Huh, are those torches? Maybe. Why? We could use the fire. Is AJ around? Here's AJ. Find anything over here? They have horses. Let me see. More fire. More torches. Setting the hay on fire would get their attention. Scare the horses, too. We could get on the boat easier that way. If we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. Have you ever seen this boat before? No. Marlin kept us confined to the safe zone. Pier leading up to the boat? It's our only way in and out. Well, let's see what else is down there. There are a few on deck. A couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Looks like they're well armed, too. I see Lewis. Abel wasn't lying. This is it. Yeah, well, that's why Mercy killed him. I hope the fuck. The pier has him. plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. I can see an entrance. I saw that too. It looks like there's a door at the other end. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. There's no good cover leading up to the boat. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Those horses. Maybe if we could get walkers on the beach somehow. Maybe not as hard as you'd think. I don't think that... I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. They're probably below deck. We should have asked Abel. When he said on a boat, I didn't think it'd be this big. We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. What's the plan? Well, they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn their stuff. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Ruby would love to have the horses. But I'd rather steal those supplies. I could build traps. Weapons. 
Yeah, we'll steal their supplies and burn the hay as our distraction. If you're going to steal from the rafts, you have to do it carefully. Wouldn't do it any other way. The fire will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot! You remember that guy I told you about, James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. Perfect. What about after we get everyone home? I mean, the raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick! Do I know you? A raider. Has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. Drop it! How many of you are there? How many of who? I'm not fucking around. Answer the question. Eight. There's eight. Clementine, wait! That... That's Minnie. After the attack, I wasn't sure. I mean... I heard they burned half your school down. Who survived? Ruby? Mitch? Brody? Ten? Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um... She died. Ten's boots holding up okay? His boots? They're so old, they're more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. It's weird. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. Violet's the one in charge. Really? The Violet I knew could barely stand to talk to people, let alone play class president. You're the one who convinced the school to fight back. From where I'm standing, that puts you in charge. Your leadership is going to get my little brother killed. Excuse me? Abel figured he could talk Marlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did, but... Like they did before. You ruined the whole plan. What the hell he gave you and Sophie away? Yeah, and we all survived it. Marlin would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. Many are wrong. Glenn protected us. He wouldn't have gotten people killed? He murdered Brody. What? Where's Sophie? Is she alive? She... She died protecting the Delta. A hero. A hero? God, you- Minerva! Shit. <laughs> Rockingham! Finish up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Yes, ma'am. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, 
don't fight. The only way you're going to save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Don't fight this. If Ten could see you now, he'd be ashamed to call you his sister. It's true though, like, Ten... Are you okay? Nothing's changed. Our plan is to get onto the boat and save our friends. So that's what we're gonna do. You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except Ten. I warned you. Enough. Both of you. AJ and I will go find James. Good luck. Boy, oh fuck! Come on, can I? Can I think I can get uh, eat one of these? Get myself a sliver. No, 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 no. Oh, man. Uh, fucking the Delta and them fucking rich kids, man. You know, so, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? Clem, I don't... Ow. Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Here, let's rest a second. Clem... I keep thinking. When Bully said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. <laughs> he was being mean. And Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just punch his head. I know it's hard, AJ, but thoughts like that, they go away. You just have to give it time. Uh, waiting's hard. I'm just thinking too much. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. But he just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then, Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. Well, the other kids haven't had it as hard as we've had. We had to make a lot of mistakes to learn what we know. Yeah. I guess. But Tin's mistakes are just so bad. Maybe he'll learn from them, too. Like we did. It's weird that people are so different. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Trouble like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you? I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. It's really, really hard to do by yourself. A lot of people can't without some help. Like, from a doctor? Sure, but those are rare these days. Or, or like the school, right? It was supposed to help with people's trauma? Yeah, it was. And now they help each other. I still like them. I like Tin the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Oh yeah? I thought I was your first real friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. I am not. 
fine. He's my second first real friend. Well, you tell him, Clem. I don't see James, just monsters. <clears throat> James? You're hurt. Did the Raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. I could maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them, the walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try. No, I have to try because this guy, it's like Ryder. It's either we get his help and it's easy. James, hurry up, get your fucking shit in there. Oh my god. I don't know how long I can keep this up. Did you find your mask? I can't find it. The horses must have... There! Oh, shit. We have to run. Hey! Over here! Hey, Jake! No! There are too many of them! The cart. If we push it, the noise will draw them away. I could just kill them all. I, I'm only doing this for James. Otherwise, I would have killed him. Are you okay? Yeah, no bites. I, was I know it would have been easier to kill them. You're kind. I appreciate it. I only did really? It. I, I can't. I only did it because I need his help. Otherwise, I would not have done it. Thank you so for helping me get this point. back. Now, how will walkers save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide? To sneak on board their ship? That's insane. It's our only chance. I have something I need you to see. All right, fuck it. I'm not so even... you can understand what you're asking. All food is finger food. James. We still need his help, right? Yeah, we do.
It's safe. Just a little further. Isn't that the shack across the river? Uh, and AJ's by. Let me get some other collectibles. Clem, what's this? It's called a salt lake. Salt lake? Ugh, sounds gross. Go ahead, lick it if you want to. <laughs> <coughs> Gross. It tastes nasty. <laughs> well, now you know. Ugh, learning sucks. <laughs> yeah, James is over there. I just want to see if I can find anything over here. Uh, no, I guess not. Hmm. Maybe down at the other end. Beatnik. My people, my former people, they had a practice. They called it collecting. They use them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do. As people. As people? Well, not people exactly. But... <sighs> something in between. Part of us is still in there. Deep down. So few of us die anymore. We turn. Not dead, not alive. God, I hope that's not true. That sounds like hell. To you, maybe. I think it seems... peaceful. Being, being able to see everything but not being controlled, that's terrible. Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. Think about it this way. As someone you cared about turned. Clem's friend, Lee. She shot him before he did. So he wouldn't have to suffer. Sorry. Maybe this wasn't the best way to explain. Didn't mean to bring up difficult memories. I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone. They're harmless. Innocent. If you want my help, I need you to try and walk with them. Then tell me if you really believe they're just... monsters. They are just monsters. They're not people or friends. Clem! She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. She just needs to move as they do. Lewis would do it for us. Yeah, I guess. The first rule is never go alone. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. Find the exit. I will. 
Don't let fear take over. I will. I promise. The mask will disguise your scent. But be gentle. And be quiet. Touch the wind chime. You'll see. <sighs> I'm gonna fucking die. I don't trust it. Oh my god. <sighs> No, I, I know. Don't try to make him look peaceful. kiddo it's all right i'm fine see no bites no bites so do you still think they're just monsters now that you've seen them at peace any different at all yeah i do they're still just monsters dangerous things that want to kill us that's what i thought you would say it's what I would have said, too, once. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Many. But that was a long time ago. I've killed someone before, too. AJ. You've killed someone? Yeah. I'm a murderer, but I'm trying to atone. Well, that's good, I guess. <sighs> that's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? I thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. All of the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine. But I can't have more blood on my hands. James, the walker in the barn, the one with the different eyes, what was his name? His name? What do you... How about the woman in the back, near the wind chimes? What's her name? I... I don't know. Asim. Omar. Lewis. Those are the names of my friends, the ones who were stolen by the raiders. I'll never forget that. I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. <laughs> oh, please, please tell me he's gonna help. Those raiders are cruel. They force others to be the same. And even if your friends think like you, no one deserves that. It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go.
Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. <laughs> oh no fucking way. I'm actually gonna attack this camp. No effing way. I I didn't even call oh my god bro. I see that name for I thought she was gonna follow it up if like I thought she was gonna follow it up if like you won't remember the death because you don't remember the name and all the details and everything about him. Oh that's weird. Oh, Come on, AJ. She was going. Let's get back before it's too dark. Holy shit. Holy shit. I've never met anyone like James before. I mean, he's tough. Not like you, though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. Hey, Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat and a herd of walkers, I'd have called them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot nanny before the big fight. Swear? Huh? It sounds like a swear. No, it's just another word for party. Right. I know it sounds strange, throwing a party, but people need something to lift their spirits right about now. This could be our last chance. Mm. I want to make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, I'll be an artist. Damn. I'm gonna make the deck, uh, the deck of... Decoration. A decoration for the party. Okay, I'll get the heater. Can I put the other things I found up though? How do you play with it? You draw pictures like this. <laughs> cool. Is that supposed to be AJ? Oh, wait. I, s I picked up that sign. Hmm, what's his name? Beat Nick. <laughs> That's funny. Do you even get what the joke is? <laughs> no. School pride. I'm done, Clem. Come see. Okay, be right there. Uh, I don't know. Go, Erickson. Go where? No, like cheering them on. I'm gonna show him the tin later. Hey, you're getting better at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. There are three kind of eyes, Clem. Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters' eyes. They usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters' eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people eyes right as you kill them. 
like you did to Abel. His, his eyes looked like you blew a candle out. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him, too. I think there's something wrong with me. You're way too little to see so much death, AJ. So much violence. No, I'm big enough. I know I'm big because I think of this stuff now. I care about what I do more. No. I'm getting real smart. <laughs> Is that right? Yes, because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay, what are you thinking about right now? You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. Yeah, the older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. Well, first, it would suck, like, big time. And then... I'd have to nom nom eat you, little boy! <laughs> Stop! AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... It's gotta shoot me. Shoot. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promised. I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. What? You don't mean that. I don't want to be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much, but don't make me. Oh, Elvin shit. Jr., you know you're not supposed to talk like this. You're too strong and too brave. I don't think I am anymore about this. Yes, you are. You are, okay? <sighs> You can't break promises, AJ. This law. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. You think so? James said a lot of things about the monsters. And most of it was crazy pants, AJ. So you don't think I would be inside my monster self? There is no monster self, kiddo. Nothing that makes you, you would be in there. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. What's with AJ? He just needs some space. Can we talk about what happened today with Minnie? Yeah, sure. What's wrong? The thing is, seeing Minnie, I feel like it should have scared me, but it didn't. The person we ran into in the woods, that wasn't Minnie. Not really. The way she sounded and acted, the way she talked about Sophie and Lily. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused, I guess. We can still save Minnie. If we brought her back, we could... You saw how she reacted when Lily showed up. Those are her people now, and we are not. Minnie? The real Minnie. She's gone. She's been gone this whole time, and I... I have to stop mourning her. I won't let her take you or AJ. Or anyone else I care about. Lewis knows when to keep his head down. Yeah, shit. Oh, I, I, I hope so. You know, when I first got here, I hated him. He was so much. You know? He walks into a room and it's like... 
Look at me, watch me perform. It's so stupid. But then I realized under all that, he, he really cares about people. And he doesn't just feel it, he says it. He'll tell you every goddamn day how much you mean to him. Shit, he'll probably sing about it. Especially if there's already a famous song with your name in it. We've got to get him back. We will. Louis Omar Asim. We'll get them all back. Um, I made you this. <laughs> Stars. So you never forget that night. I never will. Guys, that's it, bro. End game. End game. When you told me you had feelings for me, I was shocked. Then I started thinking. There's something I've always wanted to try with someone I cared about, and I never have. What is it? Have you ever danced with anyone before? That was gonna be six. <laughs> nope. I mean, I. I Do that. you wanna? Just us. No one else around. I mean, I know it's kind of weird, but it's something I've always wanted to try. Can I just say I didn't have feelings for any of them? This whole thing be completely different. Thanks for the dance. Yeah, we're getting better at being romantic. <laughs> yeah. Nah, kiss her before she leaves. If she soon leaves, kiss her before she leaves. Hey, Clem! <laughs> wow. Where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up, and that was pretty gross. But look, it works. <laughs> I should get going. Ruby could probably use some help. Wait, wait. You did not. Nah, you did not. Nah. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> Back! Think fast. Ouch! <laughs> He's gonna gnaw me your fuck. I love you, Clem. I love you back, kiddo. <sighs> okay, we better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay. Looks like things are coming together. Yeah. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? But Lewis isn't here. See that? <laughs> it's like Lewis in a box. Come on, I'll show you how it works. Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Um, maybe something country? That's my favorite. <laughs> Shocker. So you take one of those black things that look like plates and... Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. 
I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Fucking Green's red, calming, but purple might be nice. Red. Definitely red. I'll make it happen. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. I was thinking something uplifting, like, we're gonna get through this. Straight and to the point. We're getting them back. Yeah, we sure are. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. This place is gonna look great. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Hey, Clem! Check it out! I found a bunch of books on ships! There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff! The key is the boiler! Wait! What are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. Nice. Mitch would love this plan. I know, it's perfect. I can't think of a better memorial than to blow that boat out of the water. The tricky bit is timing the explosion so that it happens after you get off the boat. Trust me, this'll work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. And, um, Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how I treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. <laughs> We're gonna blow up the fucking boat. Oh god, I hope to god we don't fucking die. Looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle. I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. Okay. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. How about Mitch's masterpiece? Yeah, I like that. Mitch would have too. Okay, then it's settled. Do I like, do I get a choice to talk to everybody or am I just gonna <laughs> walk through everything? I found here? them. Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Ericsson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay, I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And all the bad shit we did that kept them from sending us back home. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I... I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, 
blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Well, not to speak ill of the dead, but that sounds exactly like Marlin. You'd think so, but nope. Really? The person in the file? <laughs> Imagine Marlin times another Marlin. That's Ruby's file! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, really? Guilty as charged. Yeah, and you should have seen Ruby back in the early days. She was like, kid. Aw, oh, yep. <laughs> that was our Ruby. Used to have a mean streak a mile long. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. Holy shit. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Willie, please, no. Chronic masturbation. Oh. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Nobody wanted to know that. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> ah, don't you dare. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh. maybe we should change up the music? Oh, well, I've all kind of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. How many? Sure, we've heard enough of this. Break out the jazz. <laughs> I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Aaron. Yeah, I used to make fun of her braces. Why did I do that? Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Whose is it? Lewis. Should we read it? I could tell you why I was sent here instead. You know, as a consolation prize or whatever. You might hate me after, but since we're all being so open and all. I was hoping you'd tell me. I spent a lot of time at my grandma's house growing up. What with my dad being a drunk and my mom working three jobs. But after my grandpa died, grandma just kind of shut down. Spent all day and night rocking in her little chair in the den. I'd sit there at her feet as we both watched TV. Mostly cartoons, since she never seemed to care. Sometimes I could hear her crying, but I didn't look back. I'd just feel really weird and turn up the volume. You know? Anyway, one day she left the den and... Came back with another chair and a 22 rifle. Set the rifle butt on the top of the chair, holding the barrel back to her chest. So, you know, she had trouble reaching the trigger this way, but she must have known it would happen because she took out this really tacky wooden back scratcher. The real long kind with the one end shaped like a hand. And uh, used that to push the trigger in. Shit. So, yeah. Bang. Right. Her body folded up and just kept rocking. My mom came to get me five hours later. I hadn't moved. She asked why I didn't call the police or an ambulance or anything. I just shrugged and told her it wasn't like Grandma was going anywhere. And besides... I just wanted to finish my cartoons.
She shipped me off to Erickson the next day. I was 11. I'm so sorry, Violet. I can't imagine what that was like, what you went through. It's fine. We've just been through a lot of shit. We weren't good people, Clementine. But it still doesn't mean that we should have been left here to die by the people that were supposed to take care of us. Yep. Sorry. This is supposed to be fun. I'm I'm just not the game type, like Lewis was, I guess. You mean is. We'll see him soon. Ten's right. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Too bad I can't play it. Lou would have known how. He liked that one. You could just sing it to us, like she used to. Your voice is really pretty. Whoa, whoa, Violet okay. sings? Okay, yeah. All right, I, uh, I can do that. For. Never mind the storm. Never mind the blood red moon. The night will be over soon. The night will be over soon. Brush away. Straight to Black Ops 4. For every night goes quiet, and every moon grows blue beyond the dark comes something new. The sun will be rising soon. The sun. What the fuck was the- Alright. Alright. Alright, yo, was it? Wait, no, 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 come on, actually, I'm like, not tired for once and I really want to keep playing. No, 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 Oh god, I just replayed this game like fucking four days ago, five, maybe a week. Oh no, no way. Hey, How sweet pea. We? <gasps> oh my god, boy. Look at Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. You taught me to shoot and to cut my hair, to be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. 
I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Uh, couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. I never noticed. It just felt like you always knew the right thing to do. Eh? Yeah? Well, I got lucky. Luck counts for a lot. Oh my fuck, we got a tuck when we ever... I'm gonna need some now. Holy shit. You wanna tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now. And I've been in so many. And they always fall apart. But I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends. And getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. Oh my the Clementine God. I know is gonna fix it. But what if I can't? I'm so scared for my friends, Lee. Scared that I'll... I'll let them down. It's normal to be scared. Hell, it'd be strange if you weren't. Spare. But you can't <laughs> let it get to you. Imagine what Lewis is gonna say when he sees your face. Those boys are gonna have hope again knowing that you came to rescue them. <sighs> oh, Sweet Pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A girl who loves you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. No, Ali, don't go. Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Out. And safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. If you know of any. Lee, I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. <sighs> I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Thank no. you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. Don't fade. I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it? He'd be hard, too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. It was easier for me since the world was just changing. But you're living in one that's changed completely. It is true. You doing okay? AJ's amazingly. I've taught him to be strong, and brave, and capable. He'd be so proud. You mean more than I already am? Oh, I still can't believe I'm talking to Gita Lee Everett. Nah, 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 nah. Don't, don't, don't fade off the train.
Can I hear Kenny yell? Please let me hear wow. Kenny again. Just look at you. <laughs> Just look at you. This group you like. They better not live in a city. You know, I told you to avoid those. They don't. No one goes into the cities anymore. It's an old boarding school, in the woods. Miles from anywhere. With no adults at all. No adults? It works. I promise. Time to go, Clementine. No, no, no leave, don't leave. Please don't leave. You've got people that need you. Don't fade the black. Please. Please don't leave. <sighs> Goodbye, Lee. No, 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 no. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Clem, wake up. It's time to go. We got a long walk. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Why, Lee, why did you have to leave? Why did you have to leave me, Lee? I still can't believe I saw Lee. Uh, I didn't think it was gonna happen, honestly. I literally didn't think it was gonna happen. I was so sorry. I can't believe. I wish I heard Benny or Ken, man. You only hear uh, Chuck. Or I heard Chuck. I heard him, uh... We're really doing this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend to... He's here. Good lord. Uh, hello. Guys, this is James. He's my friend. He's, uh, so cool. How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh. I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please. Willie, stay focused. Now isn't the time for this. We can ask questions later. Yeah, right. Sorry. I'm focused. Hmm. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. I, uh, uh, hey. Hey there, James. Sorry about Willie. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd marry? <laughs> yeah. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Hold tight. Hey, Tank, can you come talk for a sec? There's something I have to tell you. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. You, our friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Maybe one day you'll be the same. Just because I don't view walkers as people, don't mean nothing. Listen, Clementine, I need to talk to you about AJ. What do you mean? The Whisperers were my family. From a young age, in that time I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison, and I believed in that fiercely. So much so. That when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. But 
didn't talk to him. Didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember his name. That's... that's kind of hard to believe. Doesn't sound anything like you. Not anymore. But it was. Oh, I had no doubt in my mind that I was right. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. No one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself. He said it was wrong, but it sounded like he was just repeating what he'd been told. Taking life like that, from a young age, it breaks something inside you. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. I'm not going to let AJ become a killer. I don't want him to change. Not like that. I hope you can keep that promise. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. Take care of AJ. Fucking hell, James. Okay, he's ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Ted, take care of the supplies. I've got the bomb. Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. See you all on the other side. I'll cut it open. I still can't believe that Lewis would have been here instead of I. I can't believe it. Violet told me about Minnie. That Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just. If you see her out there. Tell her, tell her I forgive her. Please, I tell her myself, but I just want her to be okay. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Thanks. I will try to tell her. In the heat of the moment, I'd like to shoot her, but depending on what the moment is. If I just run into her, I'll be like, oh, 10 forgives you. Hey, it's time. We gotta move. Clem? What happens if someone else gets caught while we're in there? What if it's you? I couldn't save Minnie or Lou or a sim. Omar. I, I... I really care about you, Clem. If something happened to you because of me... I can't lose you, too. I won't. You better not disappear on me, okay? I promise. <laughs> what are you doing? Go look in another direction. <laughs> you got so sad. <laughs> are we good? Yeah, I think so. Mm, okay, let's bring our friends back home. Mm. All of them. All of them. I go AJ laughed at the he It's got ready. So sad. As soon as Clemson looked in another direction. So I know this is gonna sound gross, but covering your smell. <laughs> Smart. The amount of times that Clemens had to fucking do this.
get my back? Thanks. We gonna do it? We're doing it. Uh, I hope to fuck this goes according to plan. I hope to fuck. Oh god. Okay, follow my lead. You know, I think I have to really use the guns. Here we go. Find the walkers. Use them as shields. Shit. Use them as shields. Bro, I just realized fucking James is here. I was Yeah, my fault. I yeah oh god. I just fucking realized so look at that's James right there. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. Stay behind this one. our chance we can't risk leaving cover but we'll have to crawl along the side of the dock oh god uh, I'm not knowing this one I know AJ does it I don't know about why the guts are washing off Stay close. Stay hidden. All right. So it's gonna show me, right? Gonna walk in the shots at me. Yep. All right. Fuck it. Yes, I'm not dying because I really don't want to go through this again. Fuck. Are you okay? I'm fine. 
Stay close. Stay hidden. Ah, like I didn't even mean to move. <laughs> uh, I accidentally moved the left stick. God damn it. Far uh, fucking hell. Fuck, are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> Stay close. Stay hidden. Keep the gate down. It's our only way in and out. But keep the gate down so the walkers flood the boat. The boat to the boat. We gotta save Omar. We gotta save Lewis, a sim, Omar, in that exact order. Or Omar than a sim. I don't really care. A sim's a hunter. Lewis can hunt. Lewis is more of a friend than a sim and Omar. And Omar is the cook. So, yeah. We're getting close. After we find the boiler and place the bomb, we'll get our friends out. Minnie said there were eight raiders, but we didn't see that many outside. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Right behind you. Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? Why does it take forever for... Can I stab this guy? There's a pitchfork. Can I take the pitchfork? Yeah, I'm gonna take the pitchfork. Never mind, I can't take the pitchfork. Come, it's a metal fucking door. Right, it's a metal door. I don't think that was gonna work in the first place. Okay, I can't take the pitchfork. Gotta be the boy though, right? Yeah, it looks like it. That's where we need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in there. Maybe there's another way in. Just kill that guy. We're not gonna take his fucking gun. Plus, wasn't that guy down at the docks anyway? What? Down at the docks? I don't even know anymore. Can I go for the kill?
Maybe I shouldn't have killed them, but I don't know. There you go, Mitch's masterpiece. Bury this thing in the bottom of the river. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. Let's hurry up then. I would definitely have saw them because I look down at my feet when I'm going up ladders like this. Minerva, focus. Yes, ma'am. I, I have a little brother, short, scarred face. See, he's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. She had to be the cell guard. We can't sneak past her. Get out. Not without our people. I swear to God, if you got Ten caught up in this, just, just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. <sighs> Shit. I'll help you get everyone out. Then you take my brother and run. Get him back to where it's safe. Come on, we have to hurry. Wait, was that the hatchet? Yo, did she? Oh no, she did butcher's knife. Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god. Are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I... Uh, yeah, I'm all right. We're all right. Take care of Luz first. He's... he's in rough shape. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Dorian comes back. Violet, help me with these guys. Got it. Lewis, Lewis. What the fuck are you doing? Don't fucking point that at me. Don't have me. Minnie, let us go. No. He was duct taped. He was... Oh my god, bro. He was tied up and gagged, wasn't he? they do to you no 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 don't they they uh they cut out his tongue he just uh he kept fucking talking oh my god i'm sorry lewis <laughs> i'll make these bastards pay for this I promise you, Lewis. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You'll be home soon. Are you all right? I'm fine. 
Where's AJ? Over here. <sighs> Thank God. Shit. At least we're not moving yet. We've still got time to figure this out. Vi, are you all right? I'm fine. Looking for a way out. If this thing explodes... How are you holding up? I can't talk. If Lily... She told us not to talk. We'll be home soon. Just hang in there. Omar, are you hurt? I... Fuck. I just want to go home. We will. Shit. Okay. Come on. You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah. I'm all right. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. Looks like there's a gap here. <sighs> Too small to fit my hand through. I think I can get AJ to uh, lift that. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it, they must have taken away my knife. AJ! Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. I'll get us out of here. I promise. Come on. There's gotta be a way to let Lewis talk again. Fake tongue? I don't fucking know. Really, really, huh? I don't even know if, like, a tongue is... I, I don't know. We're not staying here that long. Don't. I promise you. It ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'll take it from here. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck. You little monster. Damn it! We showed him mercy. He was terrified of turning, so we stopped him from having to. We gave him what he wanted. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Back up. Minerva, open the door. Yes, ma'am. No, no, we just got... Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. 
but I'm genuinely impressed. First you organize these idiot kids into a fighting force, and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta, it might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. Look, if I'm the one you want, let the others go. This isn't a negotiation. This is me telling you how things are going to be. Oh, it's not a negotiation, Lily. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. That seems like a pretty stupid way to make a point. It was extreme. But I never left the lights on again. No, My father no. had his faults. But he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the parable of the twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. It's fucking Minnie and Sophie. They had to leave their friends and family behind and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were gifts in return was that they helped defend the group. Hmm. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They threatened to cut out their tongues? They only do that to the ones who can't keep their mouths shut. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. What the Jesus fuck? Jesus Christ. Minnie. No, tell me it's not true. Oh my Your own god. sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one, or the dead one? What have you done to her head, you fucking psychotic bitch? You're evil! You are fucking evil! Y'all better back away from the door. All right, Lily, you made your point. I'll do what you want. What? No! You can't become a soldier in their army. Just don't hurt anyone else. Good. I'm surprised to hear you bend so easily. But as I said before, this isn't a negotiation. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. No, whoa, whoa, no. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Violet, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo, you better cool it or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck no! Get off of me! Easy. Stay still. Shit. Fuck you, no! Uh. 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 
don't make this hurt more than it has to. That's enough. He bit me! I said that's enough! You deserve to die. We'll kill you! <laughs> you think you can kill me? I know I can! I will put a knife right to the side of your head! Big talk for a little guy. I know I can do it. I killed Marlin. He wasn't a monster, but you are. Bang. So you killed Marlin. Huh. I bet you'd make a great soldier. Leave him alone. This is between us. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on, let's go have a chat. <laughs> Just us. Yo, no, 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 no. You fucking touch him, Clem. No, no, please, Clementine, AJ. Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here, fast. I'll start up the boiler. <laughs> Don't you dare look at me like that! This is the only way we survive. Who are you? Fuck survival! Look at what you're doing! Minnie, please. I just want to talk to you first. I'm sorry we never searched for you. Or Sophie. I'm sorry we trusted that fucker Marlin. If I ever thought there was a chance, I know. I know, okay? But Sophie's dead. You all need to understand. This is the only way. Lay down, stay in line, or you die. The people you love die. If you just do what they say, you can live. All of you. You gave up, Minerva. I never will. AJ. Better see you on land. You will. Focus that energy. Sharpen it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. You'll come around too, once you see what we have to offer. Find one food, more sleep comfortable over the bed Clem. You can even share a room. Tin! Fuck. Tennessee, did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. 
This way. Found this in the herd. No wonder there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say? You don't fucking scare me. Is that so? You force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. <coughs> Kill it. No! What the fuck? Easy there, Ten. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shooter! Why don't we all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or, or else. Fine. Go ahead, then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? <coughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry. Tim. <coughs> Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please, don't! No! I hit the wrong button. Definitely hit the wrong button. I hit square instead of X. Oh, did she dislocate her shoulder? Gun. You can't let her hurt anyone else. I don't want to die. Lower the gun, AJ. You don't kill more than Okay. Shit, the bomb! AJ! 
No, 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 that's not where the episode ends. That's no, 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 no. Nah, you're fucking joking. Wait, I hear footsteps. I heard footsteps. You and 89% of players mercy killed Abel. 11% of the players forced Abel to turn into a walker. Not doing that. What? Oh, okay, I have to use the D-pad. You and 49% of players respected James' beliefs and killed no walkers. 49% of players only killed some of the walkers in James' camps. 3% of players ignored James' wishes and killed all the walkers in the camp. Nah, I needed his help. You and 61% of players named the bomb Mitch's masterpiece. 13% of players named the bomb Ruby's Revenge. 17 of players named the bomb Willie Jr. 6% of players had a bomb named AJ. You and 86% of players allowed AJ to attack Dory and stopping her from cutting off your friend's fingers. Finger. 14% of players stopped AJ and let Dorian cut off your friend's finger. You and 47% of players refused to tell AJ to kill Lily. 53% of players told AJ to kill Lily. Fuck. Fuck. Minerva was stunned when you told her Marlin killed Brody. Minerva was dejected when you said 10 would be ashamed to call her sister. Minerva felt heart sick after learning 10 forgave her. Lewis was traumatized after his time spent with the Raiders. Lewis was terrified by your promise to fight back against the Raiders. Violet felt romantic after you danced with her, danced together. Violet was touched that you wanted to hear why she was sent to Erickson. Violet felt understood after you expressed sympathy about her reason for coming to Erickson. Violet was thankful when you let AJ stop Dorian from cutting off her finger. Abel felt assured when you promised to mercy Abel dead. 10. Am I missing an action? 10 was hurt when you didn't stand up for him against Willie. Uh, was, was she MIA? Are they all MIA right now? They are all MIA so far. The only one I know, uh, I don't even know what's up with AJ. 10 was hurt when you didn't stand up for him against Willie. 10 was grateful when you promised to tell Minerva, Minerva he forgave her. James was thankful that you respected the least and spared the watch. James was this disenchanted that you didn't see there being more two walkers. I don't. Am I AJ felt conflicted after you killed Abel, sparing him from turning AJ's disillusion when you said you didn't believe you could be together as well. And AJ felt helpless when you spared Lily only to have her kill James. Lily was surprised by your offer to cooperate. Lily felt smug when you stopped AJ from shooting her. Rose was worried about everyone. Willie was excited that you wanted to name the bomb. Ruby was proud you did not recognize her official Erickson. Omar is MIA. Sim is MIA. Oh, I could have took the wind chimes from in there. It was a horseshoe too. I don't know what that was at. But fuck's sake. I'm gonna grab a drink and I'm gonna hop right into this shit. Yeah, I'm grab I'm fucking grabbing a drink. I'm hopping right into this. I I don't care. I'm hopping straight into this. Gotta get my drink. Holy shit! Alright, I'll be back in a second.
Holy shit. Last time Lily. on The Walking Dead. Oh, it's fucking AJ. Wow. Since I can remember, I'm killing Lily. Clem's always been there with me. She taught me to be careful, to be quiet, to be strong, to always aim for the head, to atone when I did something bad, to show mercy sometimes. I always listen to Clem, always, but I've been thinking more. I don't know if she's right every time. She told me to shoot her if she got bit. Yes. That doesn't feel right. We're doing a lot of bad things. To save our friends. To protect our home. And when Clem told me not to shoot Lily, and she... she killed James, I got mad. So mad. I don't... I don't know what I feel anymore. I don't know if Clem knows either, but I remember all the wolves, and the first one is never go alone. Can we go back to Savannah, please? I want to go back to Savannah. I want to see Lee. Oh shit, Lee's got to be on bones, doesn't he? How many years has this been? She was eight when this whole thing started. Turned nine through the first season. She was 12 around when the second season happened. Um, What was she? Then I want to say she was like 14-ish. 14, 15. During the new frontier. Yeah, wow. She's an adult right now. I, be I hope she's an adult. <laughs> Am I falling? No, no, definitely not falling. We are pretty fucking vertical. Sorry, the way the camera was, I thought. No, yo, I did not just lose the hat. No, 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 don't do this to me. One, two, three! Oh, shit. Hurry, Glim! <laughs> I'm taking a drink of my ginger ale. I feel like you can square them. There's more than three quarters into the boat. So now what? We need to find a way down. This ship isn't going to stay afloat much longer. We have to get there first. Okay, we've got to jump. It's far. I know it's far, but it's the only way. You'll have to go first. You'll need a running start. I don't know, Clem. Whatever you do, just don't look down. Yeah, that's what Luke said. Don't look down. AJ, what do we do when we're scared? We push through it. We don't let it take over. No, we don't. James 
Okay, I'll hit him in the fucking leg. Oh, fuck. Where do you think you're going? Reminds me of Badger. Wait, just walking out of here. Oh, no, my people, I think you could just leave. Fuck you. If I were you, you already had your chance. You said we were family once. Must have been why you couldn't. Let's both just turn around and walk away. Shoot her, Clem. She stabbed James in the back. Don't waste your arrows. This is over. Thanks. I'll need the ammo. Without reinforcements, my people will lose their war. They'll die because of you. The Delta was the first place I called home after years of wandering. I know. Why don't you write a story about it? Call it the Parable of Lily. Maybe I will. If there's a lesson here, it's that nothing lasts. Not friends, not love, not the place you call home. They'll all fall eventually. Never forget that, or they'll drag you down too. If I see you again, I'll kill you. back to the school. We were literally infested with walkers. Um. No effing way. No effing way. Mm-hmm. 
I hope to God I see Lily. I'm going to kill her. I don't even know. Oh, thing is, oh, I should have killed her then. Oh my God. <laughs> I should just do every choice. The Walking Dead. See every outcome. I can't believe I couldn't bring up at any point that when I was playing as Lee, Lee uh, I tried to save Larry in the meat locker. I still can't believe that. Oh no, we are right next to the boat. Holy shit. Where's my hat? Sorry about your tongue, but at least you're still alive. That's how you school a walker. Get the fuck off of me! Are you okay? Yeah, my ass is a little singed, but I'm good. You, I was, I was so afraid you. Me too, but we're okay. We're both okay. Lou, what happened to Minnie? I don't know, I lost track after the explosion. God, you guys made it. Fuck. There's more walkers than I can count. The explosion drew them right to us. Stay cool. We knew this would happen. We just have to get off this beach. Look! They brought the cart around. She's gonna get herself killed. She just got big. Oh my god. We've got a break for it. Now! Everyone run for the cart. I'll stay back and cover you. I'll be right behind you. The second I see an opening, I'll make a break for it. See you on the other side. <laughs> Damn right. AJ, go with him. No, I'm staying with you. <sighs> Thanks, kiddo.
your knife is missing. So, yeah, that's great to know. Fuck. <laughs> Take the knife, take the knife, Clum. Clum, take the knife, please. Oh, 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 oh. So I'm too hyped up for this. I'm really too hyped up for this. Monsters, we need to move. We we'll have to squeeze through there. We don't know where it goes. Well, we do know there's walkers in the other direction. But move it, dummy. I could just stack kill the. I could just stack kill the walkers. <laughs> Come on, faster, Clem. Clem, faster. We're safe, but not for long. Damn it. It's so dark in here. This I saw sucks. Smoke. I thought I saw smoke. I'll figure oh, something out. There's a stream. If we just follow the stream. We can make a torch, make a torch. How do I make a torch? Alright, all this shit's right here. Okay. I need some way to start a fire. AJ can play with it. Hmm. I need some way to start a fire. I didn't even kill it. I just let the walker live. Oh. nice in our room. Just have to get home first. Jesus, I'm not trying to find collectibles. Okay, do I just literally have to go to the fire pit and get X? Damn it. It's all too wet to burn. I saw the log. We gotta find something to help us cross. I saw the log. Clem, the walkers are getting closer. We could hop the rocks. Don't worry. We'll be home before you know it. I'm not sure where it goes, but it's our only option. Mm, rocks are too small to walk across. No, I mean, they're really not. But they might stop something flowing down river. Hey, that fucking log, man. If I yank that out of there, it would drift down the river and get caught in the rocks. It could work as a bridge. Okay. 
We just need to go across one by one, and then we'll move the rocks out of the way. And then I'll take... Two ways to go. Three ways to go. I'm pretty sure that's the way we just came. That's the way we go. Which way? Oh my god, bro. Nah, ho. Which right, way? Which way do we go? Ten. Do you see a light down any of these tunnels? Still with me? AJ, please. We have to keep moving. There's... There's nothing after this. What? James isn't in there. He looked right at me. And... And his eyes were empty. There's nothing after we die. Nothing but empty eyes. I know. I know you do. And I know you keep things from me. What? Everything is just, just wrong. Like something spilled on the floor and you just can't get it back. AJ, every time you kill, you become a little harder. I'm scared of what you might become. Murdering Marlin was the start for you. I wanted to keep you safe from all this. I wanted to guide keep you. Keep me safe? You say don't be soft, but everything that you do just messes up my head. Be strong. Be brave. If something wants to hurt us, shoot it right in the head. <sighs> AJ. When we were talking with Abel, you stabbed him and stopped him from becoming a monster. You made killing look so easy. And you burned him with the cigarette. You killed those guys when we were sneaking on the boat. You didn't have to, but you did. What made him different from Lily? AJ, please. That's enough. 
sorry. I'm just scared something will take you away. Aren't you scared of that too? Having to leave the world behind? And me? Listen, kiddo. Everyone is scared of dying. Of what happens after. Especially if it's nothing. I don't want people I care about to leave, Clem. I have to kill anyone that tries to take them away. I do. I believed you when you called me a murderer about Marlin. I don't think that murder means the same thing as it did when you were little. In a world that's gone now. I think that murder now is just... protecting the people around you. Murder... is a thing that makes us safe. Enough, AJ. Murder is murder, nothing else. A human life is precious. No, food is precious. Bullets are precious. We need those to live. But we don't need bad people who make things wrong. You're too young to understand. You're just a child. So are you. I know you want to be big for everyone, but you're just a kid. Like me. Sometimes you're scared, just like any other kid. So I'll help. You said all the policemen and firefighters died. So I'm going to be a new one. Even if I don't get it just right, I am. Because all it means is killing bad people who hurt other people. And I'm good at that. And you have to kill me. Like, I think I could be the best at killing bad people. Better than you, even. Because I wouldn't hesitate. AJ, I'm starting to believe that you like it. The killing, the power of it. No. I don't. It gives me nightmares, and it makes me breathe funny any time I have to do it. But I like making things feel safe for everybody. I need you to trust me, Clem. That I can tell the good people and the bad people apart. That I know when to use my gun. And that you'll let me decide for my own. I... I don't think you're ready, AJ. You're too little. You... You don't trust me? I can't trust you to make those calls. You can't, or you won't? Can't or won't? Which one? I've raised you since you were born, AJ. And it looks like I have a long way to go. <sighs> okay. Feel that? Yeah, that's the way out. <gasps> Come on. Even across, this dream was way, way too fucking fast and strong for him to carry. That dream was too strong. Someone gives up, you Coast can't is clear. shoot them. If I was, say 10 was attacking me and trying to kill me, 
because he didn't like it. If the shore is that way, then the school is probably that way. A sim was the third. Huh? The day after AJ killed Marlon. You already know Violin and I voted for you to stay. A sim was the third vote. Wait, that means Omar voted us out? And Ruby? Uh, yeah. Huh. What made you think of that? A sim said you knew how to survive. He could just tell the school would be safer with you there. I voted for you because I liked you. But his reason? It was better. I just, I just thought you should know. A sim was right. We were safer. We were more scared than we let on when you met us. Huh, well, I wouldn't call any of what's happened safe. I guess not, but think of it this way. If Marlon was still in charge, we'd be taken away to wherever, or dead. Instead, we fought back, because you showed us how. We weren't safe with Marlon, even in his safe zone. We were just hiding. God, it's Violet. Oh my, holy fuck. Violet! You made it. You're all alive. I couldn't believe you were really dead. I had to try and find you. You did find me. Did everyone else escape? Yeah, they're okay. They took the cart and headed back to the school. We're safe, Clem. All we gotta do now is find our way home. Any idea which way that is? I know an old bridge near here. If we cross it, we won't be too far from the school. Holy shit. Holy shit, bro. And this is like the first half hour. I don't even know if it's been a half hour. It just feels like everything's moving so quick to the point where I'm just so deep into the game. Well, this episode. Well, we were looking for you guys, and I... I thought you might be... gone for good. Oh. Shit. I was trying to figure out what I'd do if you were gone. And I realized how goddamn stupid I was about Minnie. For a whole fucking year. I was so wrapped up in losing her and Sophie, I pushed away everyone who tried to care about me. Marlon, Brody, Lewis, even you and AJ, I, I, I tried my damnedest not to care about either of you. I know where you're coming from. After losing so many people, sometimes it's easier to keep everyone at arm's length. And then you wonder why you fight so hard to stay alive. I don't wonder anymore. Jesus, everything's so different now. Me, us, the school. I remember how Marlon described it, what we were gonna turn Erickson into. It's not the way any of us pictured it. How did you picture it? I guess I couldn't. I just listened to what Marlon said. 
how it would be a home. A real one, but I couldn't really wrap my head around it. My family lived in a trailer. Mm, what about you? Where'd you live? I lived in a house with my mom and dad. Fence around it, big backyard. What was your favorite part of the house? It's a tree house. I had a tree house in the backyard. I used to take my walkie-talkie up there and play for hours. I'd pretend it was a ship and I was the pirate captain. Or it was an igloo and I was a hunter. <laughs> or a castle and I was a princess. Really? Like with frilly dresses and a tiara? Yeah, but also a sword. A warrior princess. Yeah, obviously. And the treehouse kept me alive when all this started. It's where I hid. <sighs> you know, Erickson can still be the home Marlin promised. As soon as we get back, we'll start rebuilding. Hmm. <sighs> It'll be a lot of work, but you're right. It is worth it. Hell, we could even put in a treehouse. We've already got a bell tower. Okay, we'll build a bell tower house. Perfect. After all that's happened, it's still hard to imagine. I mean, we fought for it. Defended it. It should feel more like home than ever, but it doesn't. You know what the problem is? That stupid fucking name, Erickson. You want to rename it? <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. We should name it something cool. Threatening, but not like scary. Something that makes assholes go, I should stay away. But not like Blood Murder Knife House. How about Castle Violet? Oh no, we well, can't name it after me. You're probably less of an asshole than Erickson. Uh, I hope, but still no. Too late, it's Castle Violet. Fine. I want to help rebuild our school. You will, Ten. We all will. We can start as soon as we get back. I have my controller down. I hope Let's get home to Castle like Violet. That. Okay, just take your time and keep moving forward. Oh, yo, wait, are those crows? Crows normally mean dead. They're bad only for dead. be able to jump it. It's not that far. Yeah, I think we can. We just gotta be careful not to land too hard.
going someplace better. I want you there with me. Let me take the shot. Where everyone gets to be a, a person again? We're gonna go be with Mom and Dad and Sophie. Ten, look at me. I know that looks like her, but your sister is gone. I'm... Don't you fucking speak to him! Please, please, Minnie, stop. He needs to be with his family. Don't do this. Don't worry, Ten. She can try to stop me. But I am not going anywhere without you. I'll be over soon. I wish it just went down as soon as I went down, but I guess not. Get down! Uh, shit, how long is it going to get them I'll help the boys across the gap. Watch out for the walkers. I literally let go. I hit L I was holding L2, hit R2, and I let go. But okay. Okay, as soon as that red pop up, I will drop. I will drop. Get shot. down! I'll help the boys across the gap. Watch out for the walkers. Oh. <laughs> 
down. I'm taking Ten home. I'm going. Got bit. Fucking Violet died. Clem got bit. Kind of see. Should should let him make the call.
Come on. We can't stay here. <laughs> Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep oh, moving. Dude, I'm oh. super sad. I'm, I'm super sad. Keep moving. As soon as Violet hit like my heart, as soon forward. as Violet died, my heart just dropped. Forward. I just feel like how I felt when Lee died. Lee. Dude, oh my god. Lee did this exact same thing with the fucking Anna's walking through Savannah. Forget that. I love you too, Clem. Keep moving forward. James is boring. It's empty now. We'll be safe in there.
Prison doors closed before they break through. Cover me. Stun then kill it, got it, yep. I just, I don't know, man. I really, I, I'm just at a loss. I've been at a loss a little bit. It's fucking fire. I tried to play the I'm literally just at a loss. Of it. I just don't know. Violet was literally my favorite. Honestly, like she ranked up there with Ken. Only one for a short time. We can't let them get inside. You did it. Now what? You need to find a way out of here. We can climb up there. The monsters can't reach us up there. Let's go. Easy climb. Come on. Please, try. I need you. Oh, come on, kid. Don't be upset. This is what she, he just said to you. What? Isn't that what Lee said? 
This is just what happens sometimes. But it wasn't supposed to happen to you. We're really foreshadowing this. <laughs> My little goofball. It's Alvin Jr. You'll always be goofball to me. Hey, look at me. Hey, Jane, please. How did I get so lucky? Gotcha. Please, don't, don't be silly right now. Not right now. Please. Hey, there's always time to be silly. Not this time. Always means always. I need to make sure you remember. Remember what? The rules. What's number one? Never... Never go alone. So... So I can't leave. Not without you. AJ. It's your rule. You won't be alone. Not for long. Get back to the school. I don't know how. Sure you do. One of the first things I ever taught you. You need to make sure they can't smell you, so... <clears throat> Grab that axe. Oh my god. We didn't tie up all the loose ends, but I'm fine with that. I mean, not really. Do you want to know what happened to Molly? Only loose end that I literally don't remember. No, what happened to fresh, you? juicy walker what just waiting to be gutted. You, know, in you can use that axe to open it up. Cover yourself in walker guts. I know how to do it, Glenn. I know you do. Next rule. What do we do when the monsters come? Clem. AJ. Shoot them in the head. Got any more ammo? There isn't any more. <sighs> okay then. Fuck. And the last rule. I want to stay with you. I know what'll happen. And, and I don't care. I don't want to go. I just want to sit next to you and... and... stay. Like that monster couple from the train station. Even if someone kills us later, we'll just sit for a really long time. Please. Let me stay. Oh, sorry, kid. But no. I have a job for you. I need you to get back to your room. I need you to sleep in your bed and have friends and grow tall. Taller than I ever was, I hope. I need you to live, AJ. For me. That's your job now. Okay, Clem. That's my job. Last rule. No. What do we do if I get bit? <laughs> Are you gonna make me say it? AJ, you 
You have to kill me. Don't let me become one of them. Be a good boy. Kill me. people I cared about in the Walking Dead universe in the video games are gone. The only people I ever cared about were Kenny, Penn, Lee, and Clementine. They all died. Oh, and Violet. But I was talking before this season. God, fuck! Please tell me I see Violet and Lee. Fuck, I really have to take a piss. God damn it. Yeah, this would push me over the edge in real life. Oh, I'm on the horse. Please, please tell me I get to see Violet. AJ, I'm coming. Oh, um, this is the farm. for a boy. He's about three years old. His name's Alvin Jr. Save the 
bullets, man. You don't know what's going on in there. Please. <laughs> Please. Please kill me. Don't leave me. Come back. Please. Take some of this shit. Another one? Wait, 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 is that Eddie? You stupid asshole. That's Eddie. Around. This Tell is... me where the kids are. All right, all right. That's Eddie from that a way. Wyatt story. There's a nursery. But I'm not letting one of you savages take a kid. That was Eddie from a Wyatt story. Oh shit, there's a walker right there. That was... holy shit. Shit, this is the car they crashed. <laughs> uh. 
that was that was I still can't believe it. I mean I, I just I, I I just I don't That was Eddie from Wyatt's story in four hundred days. Okay, now, where to? Can't go back to Richmond. This whole area is a war zone. Gotta... Go? Yeah, we have to go, AJ. This place, we can't stay here. It's not safe. But it's okay, we're survivors. And the first rule of survival is... Never go alone. Never... Go alone. Clem? <laughs> yeah, that's right. AJ? I've really missed you... so much. I know where we'll go. We'll go find ourselves a new home, together. And I'll never leave you again. I just... I really want to walk down something and just see everybody that I've lost. This... Ooh, this... It's been a lot of people. really sad now because I'm just really sad because of that I I I just I don't know what to do I don't know what to say I wish you knew how to talk. Fishing's kind of lonely. <clears throat> uh, I give up. All right, girl. I'm gonna go put this beer away. Stay here and keep watch. <laughs> Mm. 
It looks like a bad place to sleep. Nothing good. I should tell Willie this is here in case we need more bombs. This place is c cursed. Oh, that's scary and mean. I think this place is good. I'm gonna have to watch a video of just Violet alive. That's a pretty good. Better than the ground. Hey, Jay. Hey. Everyone thought you died because, you know, you're you. No, I'm okay. Good. Sorry about Violet. Dude, don't even talk. I, I, mm. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't listen to you or Clint. I'm sorry. I don't know why I mess up all the time. I'm just... I'm really sorry. You just always do dumb stuff, Tim. Always, like you can't help yourself. But I don't mean to. It's probably because of all the trauma that's on you. Clem told me. We just have to find a doctor to fix you. I don't think we'll ever find a doctor. I think they're all gone. So I'm just going to mess up all the time? Probably oh. forever. Yeah. Oh, hey. I found this way down the river. Sorry it's so wet. I figured you would want it back. Yeah, I do. You should wear it. Nah, my hair's too big on my head. AJ? Why did it take you so long to come back? At first... I was ashamed. So I followed the river for a long time, just thinking about Minnie and... Yeah? I found their bodies. I saw what the walkers did to them. They were just bones and stuff, meat. Did you bury them? Yeah, under some rocks. Good. Do you know what naive means? No. Clem never taught me that one. Do you remember that drawing I made for you the night Brody died? With the house and the walkers and my sisters and me? I remember. You said you sometimes drew your sisters like the walkers left them instead. We put it on the wall in our room. You drew me in. And Clem. Naive means you think a certain way because you don't know the way it really is. 
When I saw Minnie's body, for real, how the walkers left her, I realized those drawings were stupid. That house will never be real. I'll never meet my sisters again. The only thing real is when we're alive. I don't think I really know anything about the world, AJ. I think you do. Can, can you teach me to be like you instead? The way I think just gets people in trouble. Okay. Everything I know, I'll tell you about it. Oh. The first rule is never go alone. Hey, hun. It's getting late. Just coming to check on you. Dinner soon. Tennessee? Uh, mm, thank God. Hey, Ruby. We gotta get you home. I swear. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I bet. You coming with? Whoa. You found it? How did you... Can I replay the last it. fucking chapter and just switch my decision? You guys go. I'll catch up. I'll Please, be okay. Uh, I I chose so wrong, man. So wrong. I Let's go home. Let's go home. I chose so wrong. Is there like a replay feature where I can just select my chapter and switch it? Please. I know there's not a replay feature. Unless I play the entire episode, I'm just... That's not what I want to happen. I tried my hardest. I talk to Chris and Chris is just so sad right now because the violet and club died. There's chapter select sometimes in this. Sim, got Omar over there. Oh wow, Sim and Ruby are together. Oh, there's Abel. Silence said, don't fuck with us. There's Willie. Somebody just glitched to my left. Dangerous people. Take us back, oh, take us back, oh, take us God damn it, man. Take us back. Take us back, oh, take us back, oh, take us. Take us back.
I don't care. Oh, I'm just so sad. I've been at a loss of words and I've just been extremely sad. What you doing there, goofball? Nah, nah, don't fuck with me, bro. Whoa, <laughs> easy there. You're out of bed. You're walking. And and you had wood arm legs. Crutches. I don't care. Crutches. I don't, alive. I don't care. I found your hat. Well. Tin found it, and gave it back to me. It was in the river, and it's all wet now. It's definitely seen better days. You know what? You keep it if you want it. I'll put it in our room. I'm not even happy to see you. I have a surprise for you, too. Violet Come with me. Is... I want to show you something. I don't know, I just, I like, all the other characters, like, I, I did grow to like them. I, I, like, Ben, even though we only knew him for a short time, like, I grew to like him. When he died, yeah, I felt bad. I was over that after a bit. Just, why, I just really so? run it, because it was, like, Ben's think? first love interest. And now he's gone, and I just don't care anymore. It's, it's for me? Yep, Willie helped me put it together. That's my fault, too. I told him he couldn't make tough calls. Come on. Let me push you. <laughs> Remember when I thought this was a monster trap? <laughs> yeah. Pretty dumb, huh? No, not really. I never let you play like a normal kid. Food's ready, everyone! Come and get it! You're the best, Clem. It's gonna get cold! Come on, let's go eat. We're coming. Don't, don't, dude. I'm going to. Don't, bro. Fuck off. I. God damn. So. Like when Mitch died, like I cared, but I didn't. Dude, I don't even care. Ooh. Hey, 
DJ. What? It's good. Seconds, please. Already? You even taste that? <laughs> Idiot. Hey, Tim, want to practice? I can show you how to use the gun. Okay. So that's where you put the bullet. When you shoot one bullet, it pushes another one up into the chamber. You know you're supposed to shoot them in the head. Uh, yeah. I know that much. Okay, good. Just making sure. Well, I'm getting tired, kiddo. Mind talking with me before I turn in? Sure. different man I just wish Violet was here I don't know I sound like a broken record I just really wish man I mean like I know she has Lewis now and her and Lewis can become a thing but I just I just really gotcha. wish uh, sorry <laughs> it's okay I stare at it too if it was just you and me alone out there and I was like this I don't know if I'd make it two weeks I'm gonna need these to go anywhere and if we ever had to run It wouldn't be pretty. You made it so we don't have to run, Clem. We're safe now. Yeah, I guess we are. <laughs> All this. It's worth it. All those times you would ask me if we'd find a home. All I could ever tell you was, we'll see. And your face would fall every single time. It's better than saying yes and lying to me. And that's what I told myself. But you want to know something I didn't tell you? I never had a plan. I never knew where we were going. I never knew anything. I just fought and fought and fought. And hoped you didn't notice. Hoped we'd find something before you did. Did I do a good job? Of course you did. What are you? Are you crazy? <laughs> Maybe a little. A lot more than a little. When we were in the barn, you didn't listen to me. And if you had, I'd be dead. I shouldn't have said you weren't ready back in the cave. You showed me how wrong I was. You'll have to be strong oh, for the both alive. of us. Violet would have been alive. Mm, I you wanted to say so he was ready, but I just didn't believe so, he was. Thank you for everything. You're welcome for everything. Bitch, I crushed my fingers earlier today. I just really want that. I just want a chapter, so, like, I'm sorry. I'm just, I get, I'm, I'm really happy that Clem is alive, but. Uh, 
Wow, these are the credits. Still not bitten. Team. Yeah, I forgot. Telltale went out of business into the second episode. And nobody knew if the third and fourth episode were going to come out. And then, uh, what was it? Skybound said they were going to do them. Thank you, Skybound. Okay, okay. In you go. It said when you're ready, that in game. So I'm all done, man. I'm just heartbroken. Even Clementine being alive wasn't able to lift me. It lifted me a little, but man, I'm just heartbroken. I'm coming. When Violet died. So hard. Like, I wish Clement could have said, take the shot. But I had no choice in that. I appreciate it. Thank you for playing. I just hate that I couldn't do anything. You and 36% he was already to make his own decisions. You and 40% of players renamed the school Castle Violet despite her protest. 64% of players let Violet rename the school herself. 10% of players renamed the school Happy Sunshine Land in with Violet. 12% of players renamed the school The Rotting Shit Hole with Violet. You and 77% of players asked AJ to kill you rather than let you become a walker. 20% of players asked AJ to leave you and let you become a walker. You and 89% of players agree to teach 10 to be like you. <sighs> James was thankful that you respect his beliefs. Uh, James was relieved when you said you wouldn't let AJ become a killer. Shaken. Lewis felt discouraging. Yeah, he shamed. Lily thought that you might be able to sway to her cause. She realized AJ's potential as a soldier. If I could, I would drive out to see you. Things are finally looking up for me this time. And there are new places to find, e uh, find the easiest way out. Always aim for the head. When you have to apologize, tell a joke first. It's totally okay to burp after a big meal. It's funny. Sometimes it's okay to take other people's stuff. If people try to steal from you, it's okay to try and kill them. Sleeping in a bed is way better than sleeping on the ground. I was wrong to kill Marlon because... He wasn't a threat when I shot him. If you have to atone something, it's hard, but people will forgive you. Whenever you're scared, just try to push through it. The monsters won't be here forever. Killing is never easy or fun, so take it really seriously. Something, Sometimes torturing people is okay, I guess. Doctors can help you with your trauma, but I think they're all dead. There's no such thing as a monster self. If your grandma is dying, stop watching cartoons. Even though people love you, you your whole life might not trust you with the big things. And that can make you freeze up. If I had a dime for the days I've spent just trying to unwind. Yeah, it shows to kill them. I'd buy a star in your name like I heard on the radio. Take it from me, I'd be lost without you. I try to run away, but you're running up on me faster, and I, I could barely breathe. I couldn't even turn around. I only hope we make it home. Bottle up. The bottom one that dies. Oh yeah, because Lewis would come and save me because he'd be my love interest. Oh shit, Tens Walker would have come back. I I just I 
sorry, as soon as I've seen Violets, I just, I just couldn't anymore. Please be a chapter select. I just really want to see what happens. I extras. No, I just want, I can't, no. Dude, I might just replay that episode. Well, I appreciate everybody who watched, who is currently watching, and all that other stuff. I will catch you in the next one, whenever that is. See you then.